Hi everyone and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante and today we're going to have a quick video and just an update um, on this issue on the Gcash wiki which I've seen in one of the uh, Gcash groups which I have uh, noticed that some of the people were actually bashing the person who posted uh, a message that tells or talks about Gcash wiki and they branded her or bash her uh, for introducing it and actually telling her that it's uh, it's not legit or it's a scam but I'm here today to uh, give some clarification on that I've been using Gcash for quite a while now and as you've probably been on this channel you probably have seen that I have been using Gcash pretty extensively so today I'm going to uh, just show you whether this Gcash wiki is legit or a scam let's go ahead now let me go ahead and jump into my screen okay we'll go ahead and log into Gcash wiki now this is just to let you know here this is the Gcash wiki website and as you can see it says there it's restricted so this is not something that is publicly shown or publicly endorsed by Gcash where you can you know to solve or to create your tickets but today I'm going to show you what you can see in this Gcash wiki so I already have an account and this is actually associated with my Gcash account so I'll go ahead and sign in so definitely I'm not an agent so agents this is probably where they're logging in also to check on the support tickets so let me just sign in okay now you will see from here that there is an advisory which is of course um, this is just showing that this is a legit site so they are uh, providing advisories on this uh, website uh, that's related to Gcash now I'm going to show you some of the tickets these are my activities which will show you the different tickets that I have opened so two years ago this are some of the items that I have submitted as a case so that includes non dispense withdrawal limit reach as well as debit card cash not credited uh, refunded but not credited to account and uh, just about 17 days ago uh, PayPal cash not PayPal cash in not credited so this is the time where I was able to cash in but it took about 24 hours before it got credited into my account so what I'm going to do take note of this ID ticket ID and let's go to my email Okay, let's go to my email and check these IDs that have been noted here in the different tickets. Five, six, let me just copy. And okay, so this this is the same ticket number from Gcash now you will see from the support email address that support at gcash.com 53683 so that's the same here and if you open the ticket you will see right here Okay, so the whole conversation regarding that ticket that I have sent them. All right, so if you go to this second email that was sent to me after I have received the automated uh, response, which is providing me the ticket number, 
Now, in the response that I have received from the ticket, you will see that there's this clickable link. And if you click on that, you will be directed to the Gcash Wiki. So if you already have an account, you will be able to open the ticket and see the history of your follow-ups or of your activities that relates to Gcash customer service. All right. So you can create, you can submit requests or submit new tickets that pertains to your Gcash transactions. So you just have to fill out the details uh, that's uh, applicable to the case that you are trying to resolve. You can go ahead and sign up and just uh, click on the sign up link. You just have to provide your full name and your email address. And that should be it. Now, it would be a lot easier if you're going to sign up using the email address that's associated with your Gcash account. So there will be no confusion just in case they're going to cross-reference your email address with the existing Gcash accounts that's available in their database. All right. So that's a quick update here on the Freelance Channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.